heading 185, reduce speed 182 or not. 185 on the heading 180 on the speed of air 007. Speed at 124, reduce speed 160 or not to 40 or not. Hi there guys, Matt here, hope you're all well, and welcome back to a long-awaited train sim episode. Now, I did episode one of this, with this specific route here, off to Warrington. We can just forget the one that I got silver on, I was just testing something. I did this back in September. Now, I'm a predominantly flight simulation channel, so me doing a train sim video even was a bit out of the ordinary. But for some reason, you guys absolutely loved it, and now I get on a daily people asking if I can do more. And as I'm getting back into the swing of things, and I want to bring a bit more variety to the channel, I figured I'd do just that. So, I've reinstalled it, and we are basically back where we left off, because it kind of saves all of your data on the cloud. Um, and we can just kind of carry on. So, we have... A bunch of, uh, of routes between uh, Liverpool and Manchester Piccadilly that we can choose. Uh, a lot of people were saying change up the train. Now, I don't really know enough about trains to know which to change it up to. So, for the meantime, I'm just kind of going to run through it with exactly what it gives me. Uh, so, when we did the off to Warrington one, it was two green sort of rectangles if you will which I assume means it's very easy and one thing I did notice actually is it's got a friend scoreboard so you can see on the uh, on the left on the bottom left here if any of your friends on Steam have uh, have done this and, and how well they've done now someone called the muffin man which I know off uh, twitch he's a guy called Ellis has done this and he got a thousand which gave him gold but if, then if I click on match day madness then I got 765 on that, which was absolutely terrible. Uh, Stephen Kibberton, who is also another streamer, uh, got 947, and again, the Muffin Man is clearly an expert, got 998, so two above maximum. Um, so I kind of want to see if other people have done any other uh, rankings on these and see if I can beat them, but it doesn't look like they have at the moment. I don't know why it says friend rankings not available. Maybe you have to try it first. Anyway, I kind of want to go in order of difficulty. So, the green ones seem to be relatively easy, and then you kind of progress up. So the next one is the orange one, I guess. I don't really want to do this one. This is a 55-minute video in itself, and I'm good, thanks, on trains. We'll, we'll keep it short. The only problem is all the other ones are pretty long as well. So you have a 50-minute really difficult one. You have a 55 minute really difficult one. That's using a class 101 which is apparently different than a 158. Um, so I'm not quite sure whether I should just go straight into uh, the longer one or stick with the shorter one. We'll probably stick with this one which is match day madness. Uh, there's a match day and special trains are scheduled every 20 minutes to the football ground. You are finishing a local service to Manchester where you have been called on as a relief service to the football ground. So I've already tried this. I didn't. I don't actually remember trying it. I think I was just testing something out. Um, we definitely did that one in the previous video, so we should probably just do this. So it's summer. It's clear. It's almost midday. We're in the 158, and we are on this map or this route, if you will. So uh, let's have a go. Okay, so it is match day. You are driving a local service to Manchester Piccadilly. Stop at each station on the way. Well, I would hope that that's what you would do. Otherwise, what's the point in playing this? All right, so um, is it going to change me view? Yeah, nice. This kind of feels familiar. I do remember this a little bit. Allow passengers to board here at Trafford Park before continuing to Manchester Piccadilly. All right, so let's look at the... Uh, no, not that. Which one is it? Is it this one? Here we go. So, we are to pick people up from here, it's 11.58, uh, and we've got to arrive at uh, Dean's Gate Platform 1 at 12.04, and then depart again at 12.04. So, uh, how do I look outside again? I forgot the commands. Alright, so are people on board? That is a question. Is it T? Yeah, T allows people to get on. So, it's doing that little timing thing. That woman's got on. Nice. And there we go. So I think that means we are good to go. So if I press 1 to go back in. Uh, Alright, so this is the brake. So I can release that. I can push this up. Cancel that. And 
then get a bit of power going. Now, it's 85 miles an hour at this point here. So we can pretty much just go ham. Easy. Away we go. Accelerating through 25 miles an hour. Dean's Gate is 3 miles away, so... It's not super far, but it's not super close either. I love messing with the views on Train Sim. It's so cool. Look at this. Meow. Off it goes to Manchester Piccadilly. Well, via about 500 different places. What was that noise? I do not like that. Oh, is that the construction place there? Oh yeah, things are animated. That's what that'll be. Approaching 50 miles an hour, we have four minutes to drive two and a half miles. We don't even need any lights or anything like that, do we? Oh wait, there's a day... Rip. I don't know what that means. Wait, is that a red light? Uh, please? Oh dear, that's a red light. That's a red light. That's a red light. Uh, no. Wait, that wasn't for me. That's not a red light for me, that's for that line. I slowed down for no reason, we're gonna be late now. God damn it, confusing lights. Looks like a bit of a dartboard, I wonder what that is. What I was saying is, I could probably switch these over to day. Considering that we are actually in the day, and not at night. Does that make any difference? Apparently the frame rate does. Did you see that? What was all that about? So, it drops down to 30 here. So, we'll just coast it for a bit. There's Dean's Gate. Do we go to this one afterwards? Let me see. Oh yeah, we do. We never even got past 50. That's pretty lame. We'll put some braking in. So step one, just to slow it down a bit. Because I don't fancy getting nailed for uh, going too fast. He says. Now we're speeding. And we're losing points. Because I am the bad train driver. Did not slow down in time. You'd think they'd give you a little bit of leeway. Like, I was only a couple of miles an hour off there. Alright, so, less than a mile to go. And there's the tilting. Oh, look, there's some people there waiting. Ah, the lag! Why you do this? Is this like a common problem for train sim, just randomly lagging for the fun of it? It's like the most basic graphical game and it can't even deal with itself. Right, go a bit faster please. We have got one minute to get 0.7 of a mile. I think we'll be okay, just about. Oh, finally, another train. I thought I'd never see one. Let's have a look at him. Where is he going to? He's off to... Can't see. Liverpool, I think it said. That's a thumbnail in itself. Beautiful. I actually vaguely remember this section of track, and I don't know where from. Was it in the last video? It just looks very familiar. I remember seeing the canal boats and stuff. Let's be a passenger. He looks rather fed up. How am I speeding? Oh, because it's 25. Slow down. We'll just use a bit of brake. There we go. Cool. 
Uh, we're still speeding, apparently. Oh, no, we're not. We're good. All right, here is Dean's Gate, platform one, and we are arriving with two FPS. Let's use uh, step two brake. Oh, wait, that's platform three. So where's platform? Oh, wait, no, that's up. Oh. It's not platform three. This is platform one, and this is how many cars you've got. So we can just slam on the brakes here because we've got enough room. There we go. Let everyone off. We arrived at four minutes past, and we're going to depart at four minutes past by the looks of things. If people would hurry up and get back on. Please hurry up. We're going to be late. We're actually one minute late now. Okay, go. Wait, you have been called to replacement. Continue regular stop match. All right. The scheduled service to Manchester United Football Ground has develop developed even a fault. You have been called in as a replacement. Continue your regular stops to Manchester Pit. That's what I was doing anyway. Right, away we go. And apparently, we've got to stop at Oxford Road. So, we will do that. Need a bit of break because it goes to 20 mile an hour. Like now. There we go. We just made it in time. Are we going straight on or left? We are going straight on. Cool. Welcome to Oxford Road. Well, that was an emergency. I didn't mean to do that. There we go. Yeah, I didn't mean to put my emergency brake on. I need to get a controller or something. I'm I'm pretty sure I've seen people use like train sim controllers before. Um so that I can not do that because that was just a misclick. That was nothing more and I'm getting penalized for it. Which is kind of annoying. If you know the name of it, let me know what the train controller is called. I can google it myself, but if there's like a best one out there, then uh, I'll see if I can get hold of it. Why, do the, why does the back carriage look like it's misaligned from the front one? Is there a way to go on, like, free camera? Uh, nope, 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 nope. And back. Never mind. Clearly can't do what I want to do. Oh, wait, yeah, you can use the arrow keys. Okay, cool. I remember that now. Still waiting. What time do we have to depart from here? So we have to depart at 09 past. Uh, oh, wait, we're massively early. Why are we so early? Depart at 9, arrive at 12. Uh, sorry, arrive at 11 past 12, which is further down the way. How far is the next platform? 067, so just under a mile. And then the one after it doesn't show you. Wow. Well, I guess at this point you can all go for like a toilet break and a drink break or something, because this could take a while. And finally, we're good to go. So, brakes released, away we go. So now we got to head to... where are we going now? Manchester Piccadilly, platform 13. We've got to get there in two minutes. Remember that the speed limit is 20, which is going to come up on us very fast. So we'll just put like 40% power on, that'll do. Actually, that's too much. Let's do 20%. That's still too much, I'm going to overspeed. Like ten. <laughs> All right, cool. Ten seems good. Or maybe a bit more. Why is it? it? Must be a, like a gradient on the track or something. I see a light which is not green. That kind of scares me. Does that mean I have to stop? Or is it just gonna? Oh, I can go faster here. Or is it just gonna go to green? I get towards it. Are you gonna change? 
Maybe it means, like, proceed with caution. I remember someone telling me what this means last time. But I've forgotten. Ah! Alright, cool. I think I'm just gonna go past, and don't hate me. <gasps> We're good. It didn't say I failed or anything, so... We shall carry on to Piccadilly. Alright, 20 mile an hour in here. Starting to break. Like, now. Perfect. Professional train driver. And it's... Oh, will you stop doing that? We can, uh... We can put on the brakes. Full service break. And this apparently is Piccadilly. And T. Get off everybody. You are no longer welcome on this train. We got there in good time. Look at that there. Engineering works in the area. Expect delays. Stereotypical Britain right there. You can't get away from either track works or road works regardless of where you go you completed oh wait i can't what is wrong with me today in english you complete your stop at manchester piccadilly and football fans have boarded change cabs and head to manchester united football ground stopping at all stations along the way what change cabs um can we not how do i do that <laughs> I have to change cabs. So... How do you change cabs? Have I got to go back to Oxford Road? <laughs> this is where I fall short because I don't know how to change sides. Previous rail vehicle. Is it this one? What, what does that button do? Coupling camera. Yard camera. Free camera. Zoom in. No. Guys, I'm stuck. <laughs> I genuinely don't know how to change sides. How do you change sides? Is it that one? Alternate view, no. Nope. Well, this is the end, because, um, yeah, I don't know how to change sides. Train brake, that's not it. There has to be a key to change sides. I'm just going to press all the buttons. One sec. I don't need to pause this. I'm texting Paul. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. So, apparently, the train must be completely stopped. That must be neutral. And then you have to press Control and Plus. There we go. We're back. The saviour has spoken. Alright, so now we can carry on. We were meant to be there. Uh, yeah. We're late. Nah, mate. Let's go. I accidentally turned labels on, and now I can't turn them off. Oh, F6. Easy. Whoa! Oh, that's alright. I thought I was going to go too fast then. Nineteen. Don't go any faster. Perfect. Well, not quite. We can go a little bit faster. Thirty-one. Ah. Liz. No. 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 Okay, we're good. No, it keeps accelerating. Do you mind? I have no power. Really, really, train. I've got to ride the brakes. This is hilarious. Wait, what? It actually goes faster. What am I doing? I'm pretty sure we just went all the way there to come all the way back. What kind of... I don't even know. 
Right, so this is still 20, no, it's 35. Apparently it goes down to 20 now, so we need to slow down. Like, now! Slow down! Alright, we're good. And then we arrive back at Oxford Road, platform numero de. There is currently a green light and a red light. That's not confusing at all. Full service on the brakes. Ding. We are completely on the platform. And opening the doors. More engineering works. Please expect delays. I have the world's worst cough today. So if I blow your ears out coughing, I'm sorry. I will try edit it out as much as I can, but I'm not that good. Oh yeah, apparently I made a comment last on in the video in September saying that regional railways is probably fictional. Turns out it's actually not, so there's that. There's me thinking that Dovetail Games um, like censored every bit of branding they possibly could. But not in this case, it would seem. So this is for that track, this is for my track, that's for this track. I get it, we can go. How long have we got left of this? Oh, we've only got one more. Sweet. It's our last stop. It's a relatively short but snappy route. So we can go apparently to 35, so let's just give it some beans, as they would say. And then we can coast. It's so weird how close these train stations are together. Like, why couldn't you just walk? It's like a two minute walk. And that's even me saying it. I am the laziest person on the planet, but walking from here to here is not exactly difficult. Bit of braking, please. Someone was saying you should come into the station at like 30 miles an hour. I don't want to try that theory because it seems awfully fast. And here we are, back into Dean's Gate. Everyone, you are allowed to disembark. We are 30 seconds late. I hear train. Oh, what is that? That is a massive train. Wait, how do I like view it? No. Look at what! That thing is massive! Oh wait, now we have to go to Manchester United Football Ground. Look at that! I don't recognize any of those cargo containers, but still. That is something else. I love canal boats. You know, I used to go on canal boats all the time with my family. And I've not been on one in about... I don't know. Oh no, that's going to be 25. No, I hit the emergency brake. I hate my life. I actually hate my life. I have to wait for it to start. Yeah, and then we release it, and then we go again. As I was saying before I once again misclicked. Um, yeah, used to go on canal boats all the time. And they were beautiful. I have some nice stories from canal boats. Maybe I'll tell you one day. Don't worry, it's not like NSFW. It's just funny. But yeah, I really want to go back on one. The only problem is they're incredibly slow. Here's another train. Alright, so, wait, how far is this? I wish you could, like, scroll wheel over this little mini-map and it allow you to see how far you're going. Or how far you've got to go. I could click this, I guess. 12.23. It's in two miles. We pretty much, we're going to be on time. It's no, real, no, really no problem. Not if we go too fast, though. 
So let's see, I've got two emergency brake uh, issues. I have, um, what else did I do wrong? I went too fast about nine million times. Please. Uh, what else did I do? I can't remember. Why is it flashing? This is not good. I need to like look up the highway code for trains and what this all means. I'm pretty sure in the last video you all told me and I remember seeing something about lights, but I didn't really pay attention, so sorry. I feel like we're going down the hill, therefore this thing may accelerate. Apparently not. Never mind. That's going to go up to 85 very soon. And then we've got that for about a mile, so we're probably not going to get very fast at all. Here we go. Ah, no, no, it's going to get me for speed. <laughs> Whatever, I'm going fast now. I don't even care. Minus 16. Suck a large one, Dovetail Games. Everything is going wrong. This is the end. Why is it at the last hurdle everything starts to go haywire? And why are these lights still flashing at me? Can you not? Alright, slowing down. Oh my days! Does it think like the, the guy's got epilepsy or something and he's just gonna pass out at the wheel? It comes on every like two seconds. That was too much braking. I can't even see the platform. Oh, here we go with one FPS. There's the Man United football ground there. You can see the, the top of it there. I wonder if they've got the, uh, the museum modeled in this. Because you've got Salford Keys like right across the road from it. Uh, yeah, this is where it goes to 15 and this is where I get wrecked. Because I didn't slow down in time. <sighs> ah well, never mind. Minus 33 for speeding. This is my life. I think this is a consequence of driving a BMW. That's my excuse anyway. Go on, do me for speeding for doing 0.8 over, I dare you. And watch how fast I delete this game. Alright, it didn't. All good. It knows. Threatening games works, guys. Is that a Big Mac? The treble is 99p. I do not believe that. Right, let's stop. All the football hooligans can now escape. Or not. I'm so confused. I thought this was old Manchester United's football ground. It doesn't look anything like it. I need to go on Google Maps and check I've not like lost the plot. Because I thought there would be the museum and that on the other side of it, but there's nothing here. Ah, well. Oh, wait, so I get this. 158. Wait, can you not game? Wow, okay. I was about to explain something, but there you go. Um, I scored 180. Is that bad? You scored 180. I scored 180. What? How did I? That's worse than last time. I'm so confused right now. I'm going back to the main menu. And I want to see exactly what that just gave me. I'm pretty sure I did worse than last time. Which I didn't think was possible. What? Um, okay. Well, that was a nice attempt at nothing because I didn't get, I got 180 points. That's amazing. I don't even know how that calculated that, but I'm sure someone will figure that out and let me know. 
Uh, perhaps I need to go back to basics and just drive this 9 million times before I progress in the world of trains. But uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. It was something random, something different. And you got Paul to thank for being able to switch the cabs because I had absolutely no idea what I was doing. Um, if you like more of this, let me know and uh, I'll make another episode. If not, then it's okay. I won't cry. Anyway, until the next video, thanks for watching. Take care and I'll see you later. Bye.